Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. So I have this delivery here and it's perfect for the, 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 a day like today. Um, it is a very nice day. I will say it's probably about 87 degrees, light breeze coming through. Perfect day to be outside and eating on the patio. So I have um, cleaned out the table and so we are going to relax outside um, on the patio. Mr. B is on the grill, he's grilling. And so I have this delivery here and I cannot wait to share it with you. I must say these have definitely been the balmy days of summer. It has been so hot here. And so we have not been able to really enjoy the patio area the way that we wanted to, because if it's not too hot, it is oh, it's storming outside. And so, but today is an exception. So I have, I'm going to use this. Um, delivery that I have and these are the Olympus outdoor speakers and Bluetooth you get it's a two-pack they're 50 watts wireless speakers and they are lantern speakers and you have RGB or white lights and they have up to 20 hours of play time so I'm sharing with you all of the uh, accessories that you receive you receive your um, your wires to charge your speakers as well as um, your USB cables. And you see the white part here is the color changing part. And then on both speakers, you have your um, your directional indicators, your um, Bluetooth pairing um, codes and things like that. These are very easy to maneuver. You um, pair them with your phone or whatever your um, Wi-Fi device, and that's it, just like you would normally use. They are very heavy. And so the great thing about these are these are waterproof. We were actually going to take these on vacation with us, and I left them in the living room because you don't have to use them together. You can use one by itself. And so we could have taken one with us and had it on the beach. That was the plan. But what I loved about this, not only is it easy to use, but I like the fact that there's 20 hours of playtime. Um, you can have 20 hours at medium volume, 10 hours at full volume. It's portable and versatile. Instantly pairs with any Bluetooth device without any hassle. And that is a true statement. It synchronizes multiple speakers. And you can connect up to 20 other speakers for a more powerful um, amplification. So we're going to prepare something to eat. I'm going to do a quick little outdoor tablescape and we're going to blast these speakers. Okay, so it's Sunday, y'all. And so what we are going to do is we have a real, real simple um, Sunday dinner. We're having hamburgers and hot dogs, okay? And so one thing that um, I like to do is I like to make this chili. And so I just got some regular chili. I think this came from Aldi's. And it's um, a Wolf brand chili and it's no beans, so it's all meat, right? And so what I like to do is I add ground beef to this. It makes it really, really like um, chunky and it makes it like really very, very thick. And so Mr. B and I was talking about it earlier today. And if you're from LA, and I don't know if they still have them, but I know like back in the 2000s, they used to have the chili bricks. And so, and you would just, and you buy it in the frozen food department. I, I want to say you probably got it from like Smart and Final and they were like this um, square brick of chili frozen it was seasoned to perfection and so that is what this kind of reminds me of so i use this i'm going to chop up some onions to put in there and what i'm about to do right now is i am about to ground me some ground beef 
Mr. B is been on the grill, so he grilled us some burgers and they smell good. Ooh, that's your All right now. And so he's doing that. He has some um, hot dogs on the grill. So I told you, and so um, I'm gonna make this pasta here. My suddenly salad is the ranch. And we had bacon this morning, so I'm gonna use a, a, a strip of that bacon and crumble it up in here. Yeah. So that's what we are doing right now. And y'all hear the music in the background because Mr. B's out there jamming. Um, and then we're gonna, I don't know, we're probably gonna see if we can eat outside today. So let's go ahead and get this done. One thing I wanna talk about are these pans. These are the member mark pans that, um, well, the frying pan that I picked up from Walmart. So I think, let's see, I've had these now since, I think, was it Memorial Day or 4th of July? I think it was Memorial Day. I think it was Memorial Day during Memorial Day. Yes, it was. I love these pans. I will, I will tell you one thing about these. Um, you don't see that much scratching on here. They are withstanding the cooking because I cook in this, this pan right here a lot. I cook in all of my pans. So, you know, this pan, I can definitely say it has been taken um, a beating. I have not put it into the dishwasher. I do use these types of utensils on it. And I can tell you that the cooking time using this frying pan is very good. There are no eat, no uneven cooking spots or anything. And I can definitely tell because in some of my other pans, you can tell they get hot really, really fast. The heat is definitely distributed all throughout this pan. And so, um, yeah, she is, she's really liking this one. So, so far, so good for um, this member's mark fry pan. And like I stated, they had them at Walmart. They were 39, they were $39. And so I wanted to see if I could how I liked it because I do believe when they have the entire set, I'm going to go ahead and get the entire set in black. I love it. But I also love how it goes well with these pans here that I picked up from um, Home Goods last year, I believe. Okay, so I have my ground beef there and I'm going to add just a little bit of wine and seasoning. And that's just um, a seasoned mix that I mix up. Mr. B eats it on everything, including popcorn, y'all. And so it is a very good mixture of um, a, a lot of seasons. Some of the things that are in that is um, dried mustard, salt, pepper, a little bit of um, some paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and then there's a whole a lot of other things in there. But it is definitely very, very flavorful. So, have this right here. Go ahead and put that in. Okay, so I have my ground beef here. It's actually ground chuck. And I drained it. Drained off a lot of the oil, actually. Okay, put that back in there. So now we're gonna add this chili here. Now once again, this is chili no beans if you like your chili with beans you know you, you can but remember this is going on our hot dogs you can also you can also put it on our hamburgers i tell you you will not want to do your chili any other way especially for those types of um dishes and this is just a laid back sunday you know kind of lazy deal we um, meal we really don't want to 
do anything big. Mr. B was like, babe, you know, I got you. So he's already done that. This part, he doesn't know how to, you know, how I do it. And so I was just like, that's just fine because it's nothing really, it's real easy just taking the chili out of the can and adding it to the ground beef. And I'm gonna turn this down now because um, I don't, I just want this to cook through. Now one thing that I am going to do is I'm gonna add just a tad bit of water to this. Just a little bit. And then I'll put the top on and this will just simmer through. All right. And I'm just gonna just really just let this simmer through on low for about 10 minutes because I want it to get thick but I don't want it to get like, I want it to get a real nice like chili, like a, like when you go to an amusement park and you see that type of chili and it's kind of pliable. I want, that's how I want it to be. So I'm gonna show, turn it around. Okay, so this is how it looks. And you see it's still kind of loose, but I have this on low and it's gonna be a real nice, kind of thick but not too thick consistency. This is just a little bit too watery. So we're just gonna let that cook, cook down a little bit. And that will be done very quick, y'all. This would be good if you like game night something, you wanna have chili cheese fries or chili burgers or whatever the heck you wanna do with your chili. Actually, this is so good, you probably just eat it out the pot. But um, y'all are gonna like this. You really will. So now I'm outside. We're gonna get ready for our, our fresco dinner out here on the patio. It is a nice breezy day, guys. This is one of the few days that we were actually able to get out here and just and sit out here and talk and enjoy each other. So I'm just gonna clean this table. It really needs a really good pressure washing, but I just kind of washed it really quick and now I'm just going over um, the table with some spray away, get all the streaks and stuff out, and now we will begin to set up our place setting. So these are our Olafus um, lantern speakers. I'm going to use them here on the table. So what I am also going to be sharing with you are in the end is some footage of the speakers up on the top. So we can have like speakers down here. We have speakers on the top. And this would also be great like when we Bluetooth movies. And so we can have both of the speakers on and we can have the um, the speakers going on at the bottom and at the top and so everyone will be able to hear um, the movie um, here so it, it is really great to have and so I'm gonna light this so we can um, have these incense going to get rid of the mosquitoes out here y'all so I'm gonna burn this and then we're gonna go ahead and start working on our tablescape So this tablescape is real simple. I'm putting down my blue placemats. I have these blue and white napkins here, my square plates here, and um, it's gonna be like very casual because remember we're having hamburgers, hot dogs, and I made a pasta salad. So I'm using my outdoor um, silverware here, and this is just silverware that you can get from anywhere. It's very inexpensive, but I like using the ones with the different color handles for you know different occasions when I'm outside and then I have our glasses here now you guys remember these containers these are the hot dog containers or hamburger containers that the Dollar Tree had so I brought them out and I had the inserts could not find the inserts but I did find some other inserts that I had in my stash 
I'm using 70% rubbing alcohol for my fire feature here. It's too bright so you can't see the flame, but I want you to hear the quality of these speakers. These speakers get extremely loud. The quality is very clear. There is no crackling and you see the color changing here. At night, this will be beautiful uh, for your event and it will definitely mesmerize your guests as well as light the path. Mr. B and I are about to have our dinner. We wanna thank our friends over at Oso Fuss for sending us these speakers. They are amazing. You need these in your life if you have the large speakers like we have it's heavy and cumbersome these are very convenient and you can place them anywhere indoors or outdoors and if it starts to rain you don't have to worry about it because it's waterproof i am going to have all the details about these speakers down in the description box if you should have any questions please don't hesitate to ask me as well and i will also have um a, a discount code and that will be down in the description box also so i want to thank you all for joining us today if you enjoyed today's video please give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel hi i'm wani and welcome to wani's house if you like what you've seen go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads also come on over and check me out on my instagram you can find me over there at whining's house hit the follow button and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at whining's house all right guys so i'm about to go but before i do you know what i always say the next time you're in town you can always stop by Wani's house and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.